Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com. Today we're going to take a look at Maker's Mark stamps or Touch Mark stamps. Now before uh, my friend Jason and I decided to go out and have our own logos um, engraved onto stamps, we did a little bit of research on the different engraving companies. We spoke to some other knife makers and basically we decided on using a company called Honeck Engraving. Uh, because of the, of the excellent reviews and excellent quality of their work. The, the process started by sketching up our logo. I did it on a um, graphic art program called CorelDRAW. There was a little bit of a learning curve. Um, I found out that there are two, basically two types of stamps, um, touch mark stamps. You can have a cold stamp, meant to be stamped into cold steel before it's heat treated, or a hot stamp, um, meant to be stamped onto a red hot piece of steel. The hot stamps can have a little bit bolder text. The cold stamps have to have narrow lines because each one of those lines becomes kind of the, the, the tip of a, a chisel and it actually chisels its way uh, into the steel. We both decided on having cold stamps made up. So basically I just emailed uh, Honeck engraving over the designs that I came up with. They reviewed them and modified them a little bit. You don't have to be an expert with a graphic art program. They can basically take any hand-drawn sketch and they can come up with artwork for you. They have a, a graphic artist there that does a great job. Their process is a little bit more technical. Um, they basically engrave the logo that you want onto or into a carbon electrode on something called a, a Gorton a Panto Mill. And then that electrode is then going to be used in an EDM machine. This is just a closer look at, at him engraving. Uh, I think this one is actually Jason's pattern, North uh, Blades pattern, onto that uh, carbon electrode. This is the pattern, and the electrode is actually, um, it's off the screen, but it's a much smaller version. This whole EDM process really ends up with a nice product, a nice, clean, crisp stamp as an end as an end result. This is the EDM machine, and it's an electrical discharge machine. And basically, as I understand it, um, it uses electricity and engraves that stamp so that the only thing that remains is the logo. Now these things all used to be machined by hand. Uh, this has increased the, you know, the speed and the quality of these touch marks you know, tremendously. Now the end result, and what's really important to the knife maker, uh, is the finished product. Uh, this is the mirror, of course, it's a mirror image, the stamp. That was uh, Jason's North Blade stamp, and this is my, uh, my touch mark stamp. Now I had never used one of these before, so a little bit of a learning curve as far as um, you know how hard to stamp it, but I was very, very pleased with the results. This is uh, one of my standard knife blanks. It's a 1095 high carbon steel. Um, this is prior to heat treating. That little piece of copper is the sample stamp that Honeck provides with uh, the touch mark stamp. Now I'm just a hobbyist at this knife making, so this is just in my garage. I placed that touch mark um, in a location where it's not going to interfere with the brass bolster and I'm just going to give it a good whack. That's the very first time I used it and it ended up with a beautiful touch mark. Nice clean crisp lines, easily readable. And there are of course numerous ways of getting your logo onto the blade of a knife you know you could etch it you could inscri inscribe it in um, this way is just so simple and the end result is so nice this is jason's uh, first shot at stamping his logo uh, again onto a 1095 high carbon steel blank prior to heat treating 
and just slow down the video a little bit. He used a little painter's tape to make a straight line and you can actually feel that on the touch mark uh, so that he could square it up. This is a little bit of a larger logo, so it takes a little bit more of a, uh, of a strike. Uh, but I'll tell you what, what a beautiful result. Nice, clean, crisp lines. You could read all the text. We couldn't have asked for anything better. Now, if you're considering having a Touchmark logo made up, um, also realize that you can actually use it on leatherwork to boot. Um, certainly not something that they market, but the day that it arrived, I was finishing up this little leather sheath, and I figured, you know, what the hell, let me give it a shot. And I stamped my logo right onto the leather. Just another way of, of marking the products that you make. These stamps do take a few weeks, uh, you know, from the time that you send your artwork into the time that you actually get it. They're not very expensive at all. Um, Honok does a, a lot of different types of industrial engraving, so you just have to give them a little bit of a lead time. And you have to decide whether you want a hot uh, touch mark stamp or a cold touch mark stamp. These are just some images of the finished stamping. Anyway, please check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. Be sure to check out our other how-to knife making videos. And I'll put the contact information for Honeck Custom Engraving uh, right underneath this video. Um, best way to reach them is either by email or actually on Facebook. And I'll put both links below. Thank you very much.